Welcome back to the Cobblestone Chronicles. So, I did have a little bit of logs in my chest, probably enough to make quite a bit of what I wanted to already do. Um, I need to do some more stairs, naturally, and also I'm going to need to do a few more half slaps for the top. Let's see how many I can make here. There we go. And let's do some half slaps for the top like that. Yeah, we should have plenty with that, 27. Um, scaffolding is getting kind of dirty. I also probably need to do a little shovel. Let's see, do I have some more stone? Yes, I do. Not much. We might have to go on a little stone ex uh, expedition. <laughs> I could always use wood, but stone tools just are a little bit more durable and they work a little bit faster. Wood's a little bit too basic as far as tools are concerned. Unless it's absolutely necessary, you know. But typically you could get stone. I think it's kind of funny that it's it's quite wasteful to make a wood pick even though there's no other way to harvest stone because you usually only get a couple uses out of it, <laughs> you know, from the beginning. But Alright, so we got this going. We might as well come out and finish the V. Let's see how this is going to play out here. Let's go ahead and pop down. Oh, my stairs. I remember in the old episodes, um, I, the, the shift button didn't work <laughs> that well. It wasn't refined, I guess I should say. And uh, sometimes you'd be shifting like this and you would just come right out of it. You know, it would just fall off no matter what. It was very dangerous to go over lava <laughs> those times. All right, so this came out almost like I thought it would. Maybe not quite, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna do a little back patio area here too. So let's go ahead and put one more down. And is it two on that side or three? Let's see, it may have measured out a little bit differently. It's one, two, yeah, it's two. Okay, but we did go one further down, so. And we'll go boom and all right so now we at least have the V up and without the scaffolding you could kind of tell how it's gonna look it's gonna come out further but like I said when I do you'll see I'm gonna do some railings and stuff on the outside and it's gonna come out pretty cool I'm also gonna stretch these up to the top and make it look like a second floor is starting even though it's only gonna be like a half floor it's gonna be like a little attic room for a uh, a bed kind of like with a-frame houses the small um, you'll typically see like the bedrooms up top start getting um, they have slanted walls in the corners and stuff like that it's actually kind of cool um, my house when I grew up I, it was a um, it was a regular traditional flat house but we moved into a half a-frame house and uh, it was a little hard to get used to but it was nice the only thing about it was that there was stairs and I don't know uh, if any of you guys live with um, with stairs, but um, stairs could be a pain, man. It's like you have to. We had the full bath was upstairs, so anytime you needed to do anything like take a shower and stuff, um, you'd go upstairs. And the upstairs bathroom was actually positioned between two bedrooms, so <laughs> it's like okay, nobody could be in their uh, in their bedroom in order to have somebody else take their shower and. One of the doors wasn't actually even a real door. It was like one of those, uh, one of those closet doors, like the little foldable kind. I don't know. It was kind of derpy, but let's see. We should be able to. This is gonna be a funky angle, so I apologize, you guys. But um, just doing what I can here, placing them correctly. Ah, the shift doesn't work too too well on uh, <laughs> on that. Let's see. We do have a little bit of chicken. 
We're pretty good on food. It's about to be time to harvest. Let's see, do I have any seeds? I sure do. I can probably breed those chickens right quick. Go out and feed the chickens. Hey guys, what's happening? Got a little bit of chicken feed for y'all. Alright. Probably ought to need a couple other grass seeds. Yep, there we go. And we can breed the other two now as well. I think. Uh-oh. We don't want that to happen. There. Alright. Now we're going to get a few chickens. We're going to have to lead those guys out uh, after a little while because they are going to start making a hellacious amount of noise when I have too much. I'll probably have to build a little hen house or something. Alright. Back to the dirt scaffolding. And our stairs set up. Let's go up top here. So yeah, I was telling you guys last episode about Firefall Beta. Um, it's like an MMO shooter, but it's... I don't know. I think it's going to be a grind fest, to tell you the truth. Is why I'm kind of resistant on doing just a um, any kind of a series set. But I actually have a lot of interest from um, some good friends of mine. A Laurel from the fan server. Um, that used to be on the fan server, plays it. Um, my good buddy, the shoddy, that introduced me to the game and that gave me a beta key, plays it. And also the um, the gentleman that ran my uh, CobbleCon event, uh, War Commando 2, plays it. So there's probably a little bit um, of other people that will reveal themselves as the video gets viewed a little bit more. So by now, I probably already got more messages, but it seems pretty cool. Um, only a couple people in the comments have said they'd like to see more. But it'll never be, it won't be a traditional full-blown deal that I'll play, you know, um, on camera uh, much. But I'll definitely probably do a few more episodes if, um, if, the, popular, if the popular vote um, asks for it, so to speak. So, typically, I, have, I don't play that many games that I can't record just because I want, you know, I want the channel to succeed. Uh, so, that's pretty much what I do is just make sure that I have uploaded content I know that seems kind of crazy but um, my my love for gaming is not outweighed by my love for YouTube and I really enjoy um, the creation of videos and and just entertaining people you know um, the comments the feedback um, the whole growth I don't know YouTube's like a sickness man once it gets a hold of you you really can't doing it there's no cure for it you know um i try to keep things interesting so nothing gets boring and uh as long as you know i stay forward thinking like that it it really is a delight to be able to come up with new and innovative ways to capture audience attention and i don't know it's it's kind of like showbiz you know but it's uh it's not <laughs> it's youtube so I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing now because it seems to be working. It might not be the most explosive kind of growth. I guess I could do cops and robbers videos all day because those get a lot of views. But I don't enjoy making those as much as something that would be considered creative. Um, I don't know. It's just it isn't my bag. I like being funny and I like doing stuff with SMP. Um, but as far as the, the role play elements, if I'm going to do stuff that's mainly role play, kind of like cops and robbers, I'd, I'd rather do stuff with a medieval backing to it, you know, something that I can get into, um, an adventure, kind of like I do with the, uh, the dungeon realm stuff. I have a lot of fun with dungeon realms and, um, the actual, the dungeon realms beta just started for those of you guys who didn't see my video and stuff. So it's, it's free access to everyone that wants it. All you got to do is sign up on the forums and get started. And I'll be on there a lot, um, for sure, especially in the coming weeks. Um, now that the, the beta is rolled out, I need to get re-equipped and start doing all kind of stuff. And they still having a few bugs, so I'm, I'm letting it die down. I, I started the other day and I had a little bit of fun with, uh, with One Wolf and some other guys. Uh, but what ended up happening is that my character data got reset. And I, I mean, I had played for like three hours, so it kind of sucked. Thankfully, I didn't make much progress. Well, I did make some good progress, I think, but... Uh, one wolf actually came along and hooked me up because he had the uh, he had a few things that he could share with me so I got a little bit of gear from him and it worked out great so it was all good and when we started to record together actually we were gonna do you know a little bit of recording and, and upload it and stuff um, the server started having trouble so uh, I ended up just saying you know what let's scrap this um, 
this attempt to do that and we ended up going on Hypermine and he helped me out with uh, with Zion which by the way is coming out really really good I'm gonna have a, a video release for you guys probably well you might have already seen it with this episode that comes out but uh, it's starting to look really really cool guys I'm starting to figure out some cool stuff and the designs that I'm going to be using are going to be um, pretty interesting coming up. I've got some themes that I think y'all going to enjoy. And a couple people have built stuff around me that uh, <laughs> made me laugh. I'm sure you, you guys are going to get a kick out of it too. That's one thing about playing with these guys on the server, man. Hypermind is it's such a great place to be. And I know some of you guys are like, oh man, I wish I could play. There's this, you know, there's limited amount of space on the server for it. The members that we have on there, the resources are pretty much maximized. Um, we can take on um, a member here or there, but one thing that I want to stress to you guys about adding to server slots is that when you start adding people that you don't really know, it takes quite a bit of a, cons quite a bit of consideration, um, on a new member because they have to get along with a lot of personalities so we kind of have to carefully select them you know and I know all of you guys I get along with anybody well <laughs> that may be the case but sometimes the people that are already on the server don't get along with anybody there's a lot of strong personalities there and it's not to say that they're bad people or anything it's just that I mean sometimes they're used to having things their way somebody will build or not know a rule and their sensitivities and some people have different tolerances to different things you know so it's a uh, it's kind of hard to make that decision um, and I typically use YouTube selection for a uh, base because people that go on YouTube and make videos have much less likelihood to quit. Um, they don't want to jeopardize, especially if they're making a series on it. That's not a requirement, but it helps because like I was telling you all about the fan server earlier, when you make a series on something, you kind of have to follow through with it or you disappoint your viewers. So it's less likely that you'll be doing stuff like just quitting and leaving builds behind or, um, you know, or breaking hearts and we've lost a few members here and there but it, it was all for good cause and good measure and they didn't leave any trash so it was fine you know um, we're gonna miss them but it's all good everybody um, has stuff you know has real life to attend to and sometimes they have things that they need to attend to that um, they just make it different so yeah we're gonna need to raise the walls on this thing because the roof looks like it's ridiculously oversized but um when we start putting out the porch which um we'll kind of fill in the side next time and uh we'll start doing the porches and stuff too so thanks so much for watching you guys as always this is ulgen signing off have a good one